Okay, folks, I'm real excited today as I'm going to uh, remove my AstroTech field flattener focal reducer combo and replace it with the Hotec uh, field flattener. I'm doing this because it's galaxy season's coming up and I want to get a narrower field of view. Okay, so I've removed my AstroTech uh, 115 uh, camera. I removed the filter wheel, electronic filter wheel, and here's the AstroTech field flattener focal reducer combo. I figured I'd uh, clean it off and then set it up, put it away, and I'll show you the Hotec in a second. But also, since I've got this whole thing off I might, and I've got to make a new set of flats, I might as well uh, clean out the uh, camera and I'll use my little squeegee thing that I just purchased. And here's a homemade one with a made out of a pipette and a bulb uh, from my chemistry laboratory. Now I guess I can show you what I'm doing here. I'm just going to blow it off before I do anything. And I will, this just simply unscrews. Like so, and exposes the sensor. Just blow the heck out of it. Okay. And I'll seal it up. With a cap that I don't have, but I'll do that later. And I will take, remove the field flattener. Okay, and I'll blow this. Other things are already set, so I'll just keep that. Oh, here it is. a cap over that and here's the field flattener now this this AstroTech field flattener uh, it's a two inch field flattener and it came with the scope it, I've been very happy with this thing very very happy indeed and the reason I really like this scope is because it actually screws right into the uh, it's threaded on the top and it screws right into the telescope and so it was really made for this telescope so why didn't I go with the AstroTech field flattener for this scope? Because it doesn't have one. There, there wasn't a threaded, just plain old field flattener for this scope. They do have a general field flattener, two inch field flattener, but it does, it's not threaded at the top. Why didn't I buy that? Because they're out of stock. They're waiting to receive some more. They're not sure when they're gonna get it in, especially with this uh, uh, virus that's going through China. So anyway, so I pr went with the Hotec and I'll show you that shortly Okay, I'm back. I uh, got the proper covers for this thing and I uh, reinstalled this after I cleaned it with the uh, with my squeegees here, so uh, Here's this Hotec Field flattener. I've already opened it up and checked it out. And looks pretty good. Now, one thing you need to do when you ever install field flatteners or focal reducers is they have a certain ba the back focus, and typically it's 55 millimeters. And I checked with this Hotec, it said 55 millimeters. So that is, it's got to sit from where the sensor is, which is not at the edge of the camera of this ASI 1600. It's actually uh, in sets in about a, I think it's eight millimeters, but I've already got it uh, set 55 millimeters. So it was from the edge, well, it's from the beginning of, the, of where the field flattener is to the, um, or the edge of this to the, where the sensor is. So you should always buy a caliper there to really get some, um, uh, make sure your, your back focus is correct. Otherwise, even if you have a field flattener or folk reducer, the stars will be elongated at the edges if, it, if the back focus is uh, not correct. So if, you're, if you've got one of these things and you're, and you're still seeing elongated stars, it could be the back focus. So what does this uh, field flattener look like or feel like? It feels pretty good. 
And it's a little bit different in the fact that um, the way this thing works, it's got the same 42 millimeter edge here that's gonna hook right into, um, into where the camera goes. But on this side where it slides into the draw tube, the two inch draw tube, rather than just slide in and have the thumb screws hold it, uh, as I said, it doesn't have, it's not threaded up at the top like my Astrotech is. Uh, this one's kind of unique is you, it has this little thing and what it does, you slide it in like this and then, and then you tighten this, I don't know if you guys can see it, you tighten, let's do it closer, you can tighten this thing up and it squeezes these, these little rubber O-rings open so it, for a tighter fit. They call it a self-centering field flattener. So I'm hoping it's going to work real well. We'll have to wait and see uh, for, you know, whenever I get some clear weather. But uh, hopefully it'll work pretty well. I talked it over with the uh, person at High Point, Dave from High Point. High Point's a really good company. They really give you customer, they really support customer service and they'll really work with you. And they'll have experts on hand to discuss things with you. And I was discussing what type of a field flattener I can get for this scope. Uh, that, you know, I know, I, like I said, I really wanted a threaded one, but uh, Astrotech doesn't make one, uh, just a field flattener for it. And so he, he recommended this. He said they've been getting some good results with this. So we'll see. Okay, I'm going to try to do this in all in one filming, so I'm not going to do a bunch of retakes on this. So uh, pardon me if I do a lot of um, talking over myself. But anyways, I have to thank the great astrophotographer himself, Chuck Ayub, for for this, the recommending this strap tool. Uh, it turns out for these field flatteners, there's a, it's an M42 screw um, threads. So what ASI gives you, they give you a whole bunch of these types of things. And so they gave us threads to make it a 48 millimeter because you're going to need that to attach it to most uh, extensions and whatnot. And so this has been sitting on my field flattener, the Astrotech field flattener for you know, over a year now. And it's, it's you know, might have been tightening and it was, there was no way to get this off. And so I watched a video from Chuck uh, some time ago where he recommended getting these rubber strap wrenches and it actually worked. <laughs> so thank you, Chuck. So anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm going to now, you know, I got to take this, these threads off and I'm going to put it on this Hotec and it should thread right on and perfect. And Make sure I didn't touch the, touch it, there we go. And now I'm going to put it on to my camera, like so. I don't know if I can see this, probably I'm blocking it. And secure it. And this, that's okay, everything looks fine there. Let's tighten this up for now. And I'll measure that the distance should be, I already got it set for 55, so I already know that. And there it is. I don't know if anybody can see that, but I've already measured this out that it's 55 millimeters. So I should be good to go. Okay, well, here it is all together. I know it's probably hard to see from a distance, but it's very secure. Well, looks pretty good so far. I'm really happy with it. And once again, I got to thank Dave from High Point Scientific. As I said before, they have a really good uh, help center there. Uh, they've got expert uh, people ready to help you out. You, you might have to wait a few minutes before you get a hold of them. They're not going to uh, get in touch with you right away you know, unless you're somebody like Chuck. Uh, but they will get back to you and help you out. Okay, everybody, uh, that's all I have for you. I, it's a couple nights after. I just wanted to make sure this field flattener worked before I uh, sent this video out. It, I'm imaging right now, and it seems to work uh, really well. And I also wanted to 
Uh, thank Chuck once again for the recommendation of using this strap wrench to loosen uh, tightened up spacers and whatnot. And I want to thank him for other things too. He's been a great help uh, for quite a while now. Anyways, we'll see you later.